All right, we're back again in the wonderful, wonderful world of BeamNG Drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's a, that's a good, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, uh, BeamNG Drive has an update once again. It has the point two five update, which is right here in the corner of my screen. Alpha V zero two, no, not two, point two five, and that means there's an update. Did, I, I've already said update like five times. Uh, anyway, there's a there's a garage, which uh, I believe was actually part of the game a few updates ago, but it was removed. And then add it back again. Uh, so, this is the garage. Yay! So let's mess around with it. Oh, hey, look—a nice picture of a '60s muscle car. And now, now we're not. No, no, we're not there. Okay. Well, here we have the default car. You know, they normally spawn with. It's the the, the uh, probably a '90s Ford, something like that. Um, and uh, you, you can do this and stuff with it. You can change your car that you're tuning. You can paint it. You can change the parts. You can also tune it here. And then you can save your car and test your car. And then there's garage features. You can, you know, turn off all the lights. Oh no, it's dark in here. Oh no. And then you can turn them all back on. Or you can just, you know, you, know, you, you get it. Yeah, it's just... Customize lights however you want, and then all this. So I'll, I'll probably be making something. Then uh, no, you know what I want to make. Okay. So we'll go through the cars here. Uh, wait, okay, can I? Can I actually? Hold on. I just. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Okay, it has an anti-lock braking system. Okay then. I didn't. I didn't realize you can actually. You can actually customize this stuff. I didn't know you could. Huh. But there's re there's really not much to customize. You can remove things, and that's that's it. Rear door is a spare tire holder. All that. Uh, just gonna make it completely indestructible, I guess. And, oh, this this must be like new. I don't I don't remember this being customizable this much. Uh, I think I'll just just uh, is it. Yeah, eighty psi is fine. Uh, the, the, the. Yeah. Huh. Uh, right then. I guess. Hmm. Well, there's really not much to customize on this. So. Okay, I don't think I can just load in this with it. Cause that's what I would like to do. Just load this with this. Yeah, no. I can't. Don't think I can. So, we'll probably just tune this instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can... I can put different engines in it because I've got mods and stuff. Tons of them. I could put a V16 in it and stuff. Uh, I, I think I'll just... I think I'll just, uh... Yeah, a thousand horsepower engine. Haha! <laughs> oh yeah, it does run on diesel. I can change that. No, it's just the plane doesn't want to run, I guess. I mean, 
no, 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 that's not from radiator. It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't want to run. Huh. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't want to run. Ah. No. Yeah. You don't. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Uh-huh. Well, that's kind of annoying. Not going to be able to get it to run. That sucks. Oh, I, I don't think it's running, at least. Uh, I, I can't, I can't see it very well. No, that wouldn't work. No. Yeah. It's, it doesn't appear to be running. And yeah, no. It's not. Nope. Am I wiggling that? Oh, I'm turning the wheels. Well, I guess I can't run this thing on this engine, so I'll just get a different vehicle to do that with. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, included in the new uh, update is this car and all the variants of it. Like the, I like the look of this car. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> that looks awesome. Look at those wheels. They're weird, but they look good. I guess. Yeah, yeah. This looks really nice. And so that's why I'm actually I'm just gonna absolutely destroy the crap out of this thing. <laughs> By uh, giving it a, uh, a thousand horsepower engine. Oh, where is it? should be in here. Yeah. No, oh, no. I, I guess I can't. I can't get it in there. Then I guess. Just put a V10 in there instead. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely liking the look of this. Ah. <laughs> A performance tuned exhaust with ultra heavy duty engine mounts and a race along block with a sport ECU. And of course, you can never run away without a nitrous injection never uh race all wheel drive probably want that Rear brakes. Yeah, it looks fine to me. So I'll go in here and see if it's all right. Slips threshold. Center clutch. Which is, uh, yes. Is that I really don't know what I'm doing. 
Yeah, I guess I'll uh, test this thing. I probably should have just did. I probably should have saved that first. It sounds awesome, too. Wait for it to load in. There we go. Alright. Yeah, this thing looks sick. I can open the door and stuff. That's that's also part of the update as well. You can open doors on uh, this car and this car only. And it's awesome. Probably in the near future, they'll probably add it on the rest of the cars as well. Now, if we go to interior view, and ah, yeah, I believe. Oh no, it's it's on the other car, but you can, uh, yeah, like like this, you can interact with stuff while you're in the driver view. Like you can uh, mess with TC, yeah, not TCS, but you can mess with the. Uh, like two step and stuff like that. All that. Now, I would like to. Oh, we need. That's nice. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh. And I think part of this update, uh, your steering wheel just randomly goes all over the place. I think that's part of the update. Yeah, it goes along with the, the thing better. Oh no. Tracks the wheels better. It goes all over the place, so it's more realistic, I guess. on here and of course I cannot play this game without crashing that's like basically the entire point of this game <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna go 165 mile an hour into this wall and absolutely crash the crap out of this car look at that look at that front ends completely gone completely gone uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I think the driver had a fun time when his head went through the windshield. And the engine. No, wait, no, the engine's back there, never mind. Uh, and, and the front end. And the trunk. And the... Oh, yeah, the trunk's up actually over in the front. And, like, every piece of metal and part of the suspension. <laughs> yeah, he definitely survived that. <laughs> definitely. 100% and I'm not lying to you whatsoever. Now, so you probably noticed this is a repair vehicle stuff thing over here. I'll show you what that does like right now. Shift! Oh no, I'm not dead somehow. Yeah, that's, that's what it does. It's Kinda of satisfyingly repairs the car. Which is very neat in some situations. Good as new. Well, actually, I can show you good as new. Just like slow down here. And then crash into this thing lightly. Yeah, we should wait for it. Good as new! Nothing ever happened to this thing. Except the tires are totally tore up. And now, I'm gonna bring this thing up to full speed. Which is Hopefully around 200 mile an hour. That's not what I wanted to do. Go five. This thing is shifting faster than my liking. So that's why I'm just gonna floor it now. 
So we're gonna do a top speed test. These things got more gears. It's got seven of them. With this V10, I should be able to reach at least 235 miles an hour. Maybe just 230. There is a literal another gear. I'm gonna need a V16 for that. And 232 is my top speed. Of course, there's other variants of this car, like the, uh, where is it? There it is. The off-road version of it has, it has a diesel engine, um, it's like that right there. And it's very weird seeing this type of thing. off-road tires and everything, so that's why I'm gonna actually test the off-road suspension on this. If I could find it. There it is. Well, there's another one, too. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That was an easy one. Of course, there's one like this. My suspension hurts. <laughs> the spare tire. My the spare tire just went flying. That was weird. Right now, we're gonna do the little tiny bumps, which is just an ease, really. There's really no problem with that. Yeah, your suspension, it's, it's handling it, but... I know, there's really no problem with that. Now this... about rolled it. So that's why I'm just gonna drive in reverse. And do this. That's just gonna have to do it for today. This video is probably long enough. It's, I honestly think it was probably kind of boring, but uh, eh, I tried. But that's just gonna have to do it for today. So I'll see you in another video that's probably gonna be a bit more exciting than this. I didn't hit that stop recording button. <laughs>